What is going on, Lulu? I Been know. A I think myself, it's like I am moving in slow motion and all these things. Oh, well. Oh, oh well. well. We're live now. Hey, Jerry, how are you? I'm good. How you been? Eh, I'm okay. I'm okay. We'll see who comes in. I, I, I see like two people so far. Nobody. Really? Okay. I, th I think I caught up. Oh, nice. Okay. There we go. Yay. Let's hopefully it stays that way. Okay. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Looks okay. like you are caught up. Yeah. I was hey, going to say. Oh, hey, D'Angelo. All right. All right. So I guess we'll give people a few minutes to get in. Hi, Christina. Hi, Shanna. How Hi, are Shanna. you all? Oh, man. Oh, hey, Tara. Hey, Tara. Hi, Toria. How is everybody hey. today? So this is yours. You you got to announce what we're doing today as they come in. <laughs> Okay. All right. I got you. So <clears throat> I got this idea from, um, from, uh, Mario. So, Hey, Sarah, um, got this Sarah. idea from, from Mario. So this is all, Hey, Tara. Hey, Bashan. Um, hey. so basically what he said was we were actually talking back and forth um because he did a video and then i was kind of commenting back and forth and he's like how come i don't know what your 10 out of 10s are and i was like good question you know because i don't even really know what my 10 out of 10s are and then i started thinking about it and then i was like you know what let me talk to lulu about that and see what she thought about it so hence talking to you here about we it. Are. here we are okay so we got, hi tara tara hi tara hi tara <laughs> hi yvonne hi bashan hi everybody how are you all doing today okay so we're doing yeah. 10 out of 10s right so just i just gave like a little bitty a little bit of a backstory but um i started to think about what i define as a 10 out of 10 but i kind of want to know what you what you think a 10 out of 10 is I want to hear yours first because you know this just came up on me. What was this two days ago? Hey, Dre. Oh. So I, you know, so what are your ten out of tens? Hey, Court. So hey, Courtney. Hey, Dre. I kind of so, think I know some of yours, but let's hear. So for me, um, I have a few different definitions of what a ten out of ten is. Um, so you know how I like beast mode fragrances. So you know that's part of it um if the if you get the longevity if you get um the sillage if you get the smells um so basically the fragrance has to smell either phenomenal for me has to be beast mode has to be sort of mass appealing so i have to be getting you know some type of compliment yep you know i need it like i'm a compliment whore i can't help it Hey, and at least you know it. So I ain't bad at you. We know. You're right. I call myself out. I'm cool with that, you know? Um, ain't, ain't no shame in that. Right. You hey, Marsha. H-E-A-U-X. You're not a whore. You're a hoe. -A oh, I'm a hoe. Right. Uh, what's, what's, what, what is it for a man? Because I thought it was, is that for all of us? Yeah, um, everybody a hoe. What you oh, think? everybody a hoe? Everybody a oh, okay. hoe. You know? <laughs> Hoes are hey, universal. Mark. They're right. they're genderless. They're genderless. Okay. All right. I'll I'll take that. <laughs> I need you. Okay. So so okay. So yours is we know I knew longevity. I knew it had to be beast. Yep. I longevity, beast. Compliments. Yeah, compliment getter. Um and overall, like I have to really, really enjoy the fragrance. Like it. It changes and does all kinds of stuff. Yes, Tara, this is alive. Yes, it's live. I can we can respond. We can type into the chat too, Tara. That you yeah. know I'm multitasking. I'm multitasking. <laughs> so um 
Oh, I see you got them hot boys there out there on the motorcycles. Huh? Well, you know where I live. I, you know, I'm right. At, you know, I'm right by Stony, so you know. Right, they hot all boys. up and down there. Yes, hot boys, hot boys. Okay, <laughs> tickets galore. Yep. Okay, so my hold on, let me see. Okay, so let me say, what are mine? Okay. Um, they have to be extremely pretty to me. You know, okay. pretty, sexy. Pretty. Like you said, they pretty. just have to have like that. No, just pretty or sexy. You know, they pretty just gotta okay. just gotta make me feel good about myself. You know, I just gotta feel good. Okay. You know, like, I gotta feel like yes, I am that hoe. Okay, let me say this. I have a st- saying. It has okay. to be a stunting on the hose type of fragrance. That's number one. Stunting on the hose. So stunting on the hose means that you know, a it's probably something that they don't really wear because I don't want okay. y'all to be smelling like me. So that's number one. So it ain't going to be something that everybody wears. They ain't going to be LaVia Bell or anything like that. It's going to be something that they're going to be like, oh, you smell so good. What is that? <laughs> Nothing that you know about. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just, but I won't say oh, okay. that. That'll be in my head. Right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. This let's, let's have a preemptive for that. Yes. I'm aware Mark. Shh. Cause I, I I'm re- I'm trying I'm trying I'm struggling right now I'm in a struggle. Ooh, right yeah, now. you and okay. me both. Like I need I need to stop. I, I need to stop. really need to stop. Okay, so there's that, and um, then it don't ha- okay. It doesn't have to last forever, but it can't right. be short lived either. So for me, right. because my skin don't like you know I don't be getting them twelve hours from everything, but as long as it doesn't disappear in like two hours, I'm good. Cause I will. I will, you know, put some more spray. I'll, I'll spray again. I ain't got no problem spraying. Um, yeah. Compliments are fine. I don't really right. care about that, but it's more about what I like and how I feel in it. So mine are there, you know. Okay. And so let's just, Mark, why you have to come in here, first off, why you have to come in here like this? We, I'm trying to I'm right. trying to be good, and then you just going to announce it to everybody. So we can't talk about that because there's a whole lot of shit I done found on Fragrance Net. Man and fragrance by, and I'm like, I, I I can't do it. No, 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 no. Not only that, but uh, from what I heard, I think Crystal Fragrances has a standing twenty percent off right now. Well, this is what he's saying, and I did see this. The Caroline Herrera Confidentials are extremely, extremely gone down in price. Oh, uh, I mean, all the people ooh. paying three hundred. 250 mm-hmm. sucks to be y'all now. <laughs> um, I mean, it's all kind of stuff. Apparently, what we did miss though was that mm-hmm. Fragrance had gotten almost all the Armani Privé, a lot of them in, and now oh, they're wow. out, they had like Rouge Malachite, Vert Malachite because I look for them every once in a while. They all sold out, so they must have just got them recently because you know, yeah. Rouge Malachite, Vert Malachite, I think both are discontinued, so yeah. Um, it's okay. a it's a whole lot of shit. Fragrance by got a whole lot of stuff that just came in. Um, yeah, I was just like, oh, let me stay fucking. Yeah, you gotta hit them real quick and see what's out there. Uh oh, right. somebody reached uh four hundred bucks. You better stop decluttering. Keep right. building. Just build. You know, if you build it, they will come. Right. <laughs> I'm I'm in the fives, so you're. I'm, about, I'm in the threes. I, I, I'll, I'll be, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'm in the threes. The thing is, you know, so why don't you declutter? Because I can say why I don't declutter. Why don't you declutter? Why don't I decolor, declutter? I, mean, because, I declutter. Right. I get rid of the stuff I don't like, but I don't do like, oh my God, I have too many. Let me get rid of some stuff. Why don't they? Right. Um, the reason why I don't is because I like the fact that um, some of my fragrances will develop a little bit better on me. So age is everything. So I think I tried something on that I hadn't worn in a very long time. And all of a sudden it was absolutely amazing. I couldn't believe it. I was yes. like, where was this all my life? So that's why I've started to go back through everything I have and, um, and and just really talk about it um also uh somebody was asking what are the scents of the day i'm actually wearing three different scents i can't tell you because they're in my list okay and i will tell you today what did i put on today 
Um, what did I put on today? Oh, I got something new. I had on okay. Lagerfeld Florida de Orchidee. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. So Aaron Super Roses for eighty dollars. Shut up, Mark. Get off my. Get out of here. Okay. Okay. Shut up, man. We're gonna we, Mark. I'm gonna mute you in a minute. You keep putting yeah. shit out like this. We're going to mute you. You're going to get muted. You're going to get muted. Okay. Hey, Coco, hey, Coco. Hey. Okay. I like Ely Style Gardenia. It just don't stay on me. It's a beautiful fragrance, but, you know, because I, I don't want to mute, mute your ass. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> you, if you don't I have still me, need that. I need that Ilya Saab, that, uh, what is it, Sandalwoods, number eight or something like oh, that. The Can't find it anywhere. Nah. Can't find it anywhere. Mm -mm. And then, uh, well, I take that back. It's on eBay for 150. I'm like, come on now, it's only 80, and you trying to get me for 150. And see, that's the thing is like when you know that you that you could have got it from like a discount for 80, and you see if a right. 150 or 200, be like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. yeah. Okay. Uh, so for me, the reason, part of the reason why I don't declutter a lot, is one mm -hmm. of the reasons you said is because. I have gone back to stuff that I was thinking about getting rid of and haven't really worn and been like, mm -hmm. oh my God, where have you been all my life? Oh right. my God, this shit is awesome. Like yeah. um, Coco can say, voulez vous coucher avec moi by Killian, right? I had I bought it a year ago. Okay. I've had it all this time, haven't worn it because I didn't really like it. It seemed really powdery at the time. Man, I put that shit on and I was like. <laughs> Couldn't believe it, right? Right? And... <laughs> For and see, I okay, maybe because I've been a, on YouTube a long, a, you know, a little bit longer, I understand yeah. that things you kind of need for reference. And right. because I have this, you know, I've created this database, I can reference things easy. So right. it makes it, I know me, I can't remember shit. You know, okay. I'm not one of the people who can go back and say, oh, this was like this. I don't forget if I got rid of you and I don't see you anymore, you are out of my mind. I ain't got that much brain cells. My brain cells is limited right now. So I ain't got right. time to kind of remember shit that I ain't got anymore. Right. right? I, I understand completely what yeah. you mean. I was gonna say, like um, like you said before, I know that I've sprayed things on as well later on, and I'm like, wait a minute, I thought this smelled like this before because your skin changes and like, well. Not your skin, but because your body and your hormones change, it's going to smell different on you now than it did before. Right. So, so yeah, definitely. Right. Exactly what you mean. Right. Okay. So, now, Courtney says, hi, Aquagen, that Ely Saab has them in. I bought two already because they had rose and they got the am amber one. I wanted that one. So I bought that one. Let me see. Did they put anything new on there? Nope. 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 Nah, they ain't got the one you want. Okay. I was nope. just checking for you. Because if they had, I'd have been like, Jerry, get your phone. Go on, do your shit right now, man. <laughs> go, and, go and grab some stuff. Honestly, right uh, you know what's been on my list for a long time and I still haven't picked it up is Remember Me by Joe Voy. You know what? I was talking about this just recently. I think it was just uh -huh. some random stuff. I think I'm going to yeah. create a math, a list of things that I've been wanting, you know, like really yeah. want. Because what happens is, is like you'll see a good deal on some shit. You weren't even thinking about it, but nope. it's the deal is so good. You like, let me snatch it. And there's yep. things that I've been wanting for a long time that I still haven't oh. gotten to. So. Uh oh. <gasps> Oh, get your phone out, man! You better I know, get right? You see me? You see me sneaking? I'm like, I was like, what she said? Let me go look. Let me, let me. Get I know, I know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Cause I hold on. Thank you, Courtney. <laughs> I know. I'm sitting here like, hold on, wait a minute. Let's, <laughs> let's you check me. this real quick. I sure see. wasn't supposed to be. I was Amber supposed to be Rose. Anything. Uh oh, let me go down. Let me see if I see it. Gardenia sold out. No, it's not. It's sold out. It's sold out. You good. It's sold uh, out. It's sold out. Uh, <laughs> it's sold out. Uh, I'm so sad. You hey, but Amber is there. Hey, Amber is there. Amber is there. I already bought Amber. I, How Amber's was Amber? Huh? How was Amber? No, I, it's on its way. I, oh, I already you, already, you already bought yeah, it. Oh. Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay. This is okay. about to be a force for you, honey. 
Wait a minute, because they've the people who've been around me have seen me shop on 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 a live. I have shopped it before on a live and bought stuff. So, I mean, I mean, we just sitting here. I'm just, I'm just saying. Okay, okay, let's get to okay. some out of ten. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so uh, yeah. we didn't got we didn't got sidetracked. See, Mark, this is Mark's fault. This is Mark's fault. Okay, so what I we know. Gonna, Thanks, Mark. Appreciate well, maybe you. Maybe we could do for our next one our our list of stuff we just want to get, and then we can and we're gonna we're gonna try to commit to stick it to that before we buy some other bullshit that we just seeing on them. Cause I know I have a Javoy coming, and I have something else coming. I got some. I don't even. You know, it's getting bad when you forget. Yeah. No, I know. I know. I know. So, yep, you see I'm still talking to you and I'm still buying this right now as we speak. I'm How just saying. You, I know. Would you buy the Amber? Yep. <laughs> I want the Neroli one, too. Hey, Kia. Hey, Kia. Okay, I'm going to start. Hey, you shot, okay, right? okay. You go ahead. You go I'm ahead and start. You go ahead and start. Okay, I'm going to start with an easy one because it's right here in front of me. I'm going to take okay. this one. This is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one in tents. Now, okay. I didn't plan on buying this because I was like, it's Dolce & Gabbana. Eh. Yeah. But then, you know, Helen and everybody told me, go on and get it. And it, at the time, it was like $30-something for a tester. So it was worth trying. You know what I'm saying? It was like, hey, yeah. and, oh, Jesus. This damn thing is so sexy and beautiful. It's really? um, yeah, it's similar to La Entre Dia Intense. They're kind of vibe the same, except La Entre Dia is tuberose. This is an orange blossom, so it's still a white floral. But this has coconut in it. This oh. is sexy coconut. This is a sexy, deep, dark coconut. You know, because coconuts can tend to be like, hey, you know, let's go to the tropics and everything. No, this is get your money. This is going to bring all the boys to the yard. My milkshake, oh. my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not gonna use that one then. No, no, no. This for your wife. I'm gonna bring the girls to the yard. This your this your wife. This this for you. That's this my for wife. wife. Okay. He's supposed okay. to be with because it's gonna bring the boys to the yard. Okay. All right. Okay. That sounds good. All right. Come on with. Come on. Come on. So I did a video about this. Uh, my last video actually. Um. This Navi Tooth Parfums, the one from Monica Sioche. This is Carte Blanche. So, yeah, you've been, been was, bad. Mm -hmm. What's that? You've been bad. You've been bad. I've been, yeah, unfortunately, I've been buying. But you know what? This right here is probably one of the most beautiful fragrances. It is so elegant. So, the notes in it are um, Italian Mandarin, Sicilian Bergamot. Guatemalan cardamom, and then it has an aggress accord. Um, I didn't look up aggress, but I was like, okay. It seems like it has a citrus top. Then you get grilled almonds, benzoin, driftwood, and vetiver. You don't really smell a nutty vibe. So the other fragrance that she has has a nutty vibe. Mm -hmm. And then you get uh, Indonesian patchouli, uh, Madagascar vanilla, Curry balsam, musk, and ambergris. So it almost reminds me of the same vanilla that you get in Ani, uh, okay. in a sense, but it doesn't smell like anything I have. Out of all of my fragrances, it's by itself something that's ridiculous. Um, as you see, if you look, I've been spraying it okay. more okay. than more than normal. So I'll even come in in the morning. So for me. You know, again, that whole 10 out of 10 thing, you go in the room, you smell it, and you're like, ah, I got to try other stuff on. you mad, but you still smell it. So this one is definitely one. All right, Tara. Good night, Tara. Okay, so, um, okay. So that's a new one. So, okay, then I'll go with a new one. Okay. I just had it in my head. What do I do? It? Oh, here it is. Okay, so this is from Kofi. Fragrances, which is part of Ganache. This is called Just Call Me. This is part of the Ooh. coffee scents that he does. This, okay. um, as he's changing up, this is mm -hmm. more perfumery as opposed to straight gourmand. Because like okay. the other ones from the co coffee one, they some of them, you know, one of them smell like bacon. You know, it's got a little bacon. Oh. 
Okay. So this one, let me give you some notes because I said, let me get some notes. This right. one has green coffee bean accord, citron accord, pink peppercorn, night blooming jasmine, amber, plum jam, red rose, white rose, natural rising. Let me tell you, this shit is so damn sexy. The plum is really, really strong. Oh my God. This is so how sexy. Do you, how is that for a man? So like if I wanted to pick that up, that sounds really nice. Actually, it's pretty unisex because, okay. the, you know, the plum and like the amber and uh, the coffee beans, the green coffee, bring it down. Some. Yes. So even though it's got a lot of florals in it, you know, it's not too floral. It's not like a girly floral. It's like a unisex. Okay. Floral. You know, what it kind of. Okay. So I would say like something like um, like saffron rose. It's not spicy like oh. that, but but it okay. vibes like that, you know, where it's got that floral in it, but it's got enough. So it's not too much. But. Yeah, this shit is sexy as hell. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Oh, I will tell y'all afterwards, Courtney. After we finish, I will go into that because that's a whole, you know, I'll talk about that afterwards. So that'll be, you know, my TED talk for the night. Uh, and that's when <laughs> Jerry can leave because he'll be sad. <laughs> Cause, right. Because you'd have had that second dose and your ass is dragging. <laughs> I just don't know that that second COVID shot Ooh. got me a little sleepy. I'm just mm -hmm. saying. I did, but you know what though? I did run a uh I ran a 5k today, so that's probably part of the reason too. Did you get a lot of compliments while you were running? Um no. I did somebody not. like stop their car, like, oh my god, you smell so good. Did you have all your booty shorts? Just ask. I, just I, yeah, no, I ain't had no booty shorts on. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just had that. That's only in that's only in the hot summer, you know. That's I mean? only in the in, in, when you at the gym. All right, exactly. Got to got to wear them shorts that come up right right at the underwear, like right, 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 right. right. <laughs> yeah, I'm yes, trying to. Right. So I was gonna say I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get anywhere between. Um, so right now I'm doing ten to fifteen miles a week of running, but I'm trying to get somewhere around like that, probably like twelve to seventeen. So okay, okay. yeah. All right. So next, next one. Um, I actually did a video on these two. So this is Electimus and oh, wrong one. Don't look at that one. Don't look at that one. Isn't that Triumph of Bacchus? Nope. What? This is, well, it's in there. This is called Trajan from okay. Electimus. Okay. So this one has that that BR540 vibe, but, okay. but it's not as sweet. That's the nice part about this one. So it has blood orange, bergamot, and lemon, but I don't smell any lemon. I smell more so the saffron that's in it. There's mm -hmm. lavender and sage, and then you get uh, ambergris, oak moss, and cedar. Mm -hmm. Um it has that BR540 vibe at first, but then it goes into something totally different. Okay. Um, I love the longevity, the siage. I've actually gotten compliments with mask on with this one. So it's okay. pretty dope. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to do some of mine that I just got some from one one of from the, the houses. And then I got some that I just, I'm just going to do a mass of them, sort of. Cause you know I yeah. could go man Sarah and do like a bunch of them, but I'm not. Oh, I know. I Only know. Grab LOL, Courtney. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So speaking of Elisa, I'm gonna talk about Cure Yalang. Oh man. Oh. Leather and Yalang Yalang. I oh love leather. My God, this smells so good. Oh. Really. Oh, this is so good. Oh man, this is like. I can't tell you, I can't wait to tell you about my leather fragrance. I've fallen in love. I this found the best one, leather fragrance I've ever smelled in my life. This so one, I'm excited. This one is floral, but the, okay. it's not It's not like, you know, it's Ylang Ylang. So Ylang mm -hmm. Ylang has like a deepness to it. And, right. and it's also um, a natural pheromone. So it does okay. hit that center in your nose. Um, and yes, I almost missed it. Cause now I sold out, and man, the leather is strong. The Elaine, this damn thing is so really? sexy. 
it's just strong and the leather is there. So it's all leather and your lane lane. That's it. That's it. Right. And this is another Kirk John. This is what he did these for, for her. He did a lot. No. Yeah, that's why a, hey, that's why I had to get that amber and Courtney's right. It, it physically hurt hurt me that I couldn't get an Ilias up. I was like, why can't I find the one that I want? Right, right. <laughs> I just want that Santal. I'm like, everybody kept talking about it. I want that one. But mm -hmm. they also said, I think Amber, everybody said was the best. Yeah, I heard Amber is real good too. So that's why I was like, okay, just get the Amber. Because I heard that Amber is similar to Grand Soir, which I have. So I'm going to see how it is. <sighs> Do you know, so back in the day, I bought from, uh, I got mad at, um, what is it, Fragrance Net, because I bought Grand Soir and, and they, they sold, the they, didn't, they didn't take my order. They took somebody else's order. I was pissed because I could have gotten it for, I think it was like 125 well, I think that's when Coco bought it because Coco bought it like that recently from them. It was like one, they had like testers of it or something. And they were like, no, no, no. This wasn't a tester. This was like the real deal, legit, all packaged up and everything. And they told, they sent me my money back a week later. I was. Pissed. Okay, no, I, no, let me tell you what they do. That's what they do. We figured this out because they did that to us with Killian. That's what happened. Oh, really? I think sometimes they put the price wrong and okay. then they catch some people getting that price because mm. I got my Killian travel sets for like 90 something or a hundred, no, no 80 to 90. I got the travel okay. set. And so they were less than half price when I picked them up and they canceled some of my orders cause I had really? picked up all of, cause they had almost all of them. And yeah. I was like, let me get them all. Let me get them all. And then they canceled like three of them. Wow. Yeah. See, I knew Coco, Coco said she got my bottle. I know. She got your bottle. Because I remember she got a bottle for 125 Man, took my doggone bottle. I was so upset. She did. She got that bottle from me, man. She took it from me. She snatched it. <laughs> she snatched it, yo. <laughs> she snatched it. She snatched it. Yeah, so oh, Amber's coming. So now you got Amber coming, too. The good thing is fragrance by you. have it next week. I know, right? You know, I'm like, right. Monday and Tuesday at the latest. I was like, why did I my problem is I'm I'm thinking to myself, why the heck did I buy that like like that? But I wanted it. Whatever. Okay, it that's why I said the next time we come together, we're gonna have yeah. our master list of stuff we just really want to get. And that's the stuff we're trying to tick off this year. Okay. What All we right. want in 2021. And we're gonna try to stick to that list. We, okay. You know, without you know trying to get because because if you don't you'll still have this list of stuff you've been wishing on and all this other stuff that you just happen to find you'd be like oh let me get it let me get it right right exactly hi right. melissa, why did hey, you, melissa. Why did you... okay so <laughs> it's your turn next okay okay no you didn't miss it all we only on the third the third fragrance no no so we've been talking we've been chatting a lot yeah so the other one that i was talking about this one's imperial Okay, okay. So I I smelled it at first and I kind of got a little upset because it smelled a little bit like a mixture of Sea Drop Boys uh, or Boise, however you say it. It also smells like um, Paco Rabanne Pure Excess mixed with Creed Aventus, but it's actually its own thing. What's up, Rob? This one is... As I spray it, so this is one of my scents of the day. Actually, okay. the other one, the other one was uh, was the Tarjan or Trajan, and um, they're both on my arm. This one is so gorgeous. So it starts off, you get that beautiful blast of sweetness. So it has bergamot, coriander, um, it has lily, jasmine, rose, neroli, saffron, and tuberose in it. It also has vanilla, musk, amber, guyac wood. Uh, it actually has oud in it and patchouli. But you, you don't get any of the notes that they're talking about, really, except for, I would say, the neroli, the rose, the jasmine, the maybe the saffron, that musk, vanilla, and then whatever, I, I guess, the patchouli and guyac wood gives you all of that. So I don't know. I got I have guyac wood oil here. I'm 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 getting ready to do my next perfume, my next notes 
live. So just know okay. I'm working on that. So everybody, I'm working on the next one. I got a few things that I've ordered. I'm ordering up, you know, single notes to try them out. Okay. So I was going to okay. ask you something, but I forgot. Never mind. My okay, bad. So you know, I, I talked to you. I know what I was going to say. I know what I was going to say. I need okay. the price for those because those look like they $625 bottles. So how much are those? So these were, I got them on sale. They were like, these ended up being like 164, but I think they're 220 for okay, these. That's bad. That's not bad. That's not but bad. but they are also um what is it? Uh they have other ones that are in the 500 range. Yes, I'm I've, like, seen, I've been on there. Hey cousin, I'm like, yeah, okay. So that's why I had to ask yeah. cuz I was like, how much are those? Okay, so here yeah. we go. This okay. one. Jasmine Wisp by Rasasi. It seems like everybody is starting to talk about that a little bit more again. <laughs> I've, I've been talking about it for over a year. Um, I This is just, this is a sexy ass fragrance. It's got that, it does smell similar to Kirky. I got rid of Kirky. Mm -hmm. Okay. They are similar. Um, but baby, this <laughs> is, this is tropical, tropical fruit sweetness sexy. <sighs> mm -hmm. smells so good, man. <laughs> and and it and it lasts. Versace is very yeah. good. Their their stuff lasts. Yeah. So I actually have all three of these. I have the Orchid Prairie and the Femme. This is the one I like the most. The other ones, okay. hmm, they're similar to Tom Ford. So yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We've been we've been on the Jasmine Wisp train for a minute. Okay. And mm -hmm. this is like perfect, like mm -hmm. this is perfect date night sexy ass. This is sexy for the summertime. Like if you sitting on a rooftop, oh mm -hmm. yeah, everybody would be like, oh my God, you smell so good. And this will get you compliments. This is yeah. a compliment getter. I worn, I wore to work. This girl followed me. It was like, what do you have on? I was like, stunting on hoes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> on the hose. Starting on the hose. Stupid. I'm <laughs> on the hose, because it's got to be three snaps, not two. No, oh, three <laughs> snaps, and you done. Starting on the hose. <laughs> oh man, that is funny. Oh, you He's should. Oh, that would be nice for the husband's birthday dinner. It'd be nice and sexy. Ooh, yes. <laughs> you funny. All right, so my next one. I also did a video about this one too. I'm really falling in love with um i mean i already was but arabian oud is such a dope you bought enough um, of them don't see it i'm just saying they're dope you know i started off with one and um this one here for right now cashmere for um for like the summertime the spring and summertime this one is so gorgeous it's um yuzu black currant and plum up top then it's oud, jasmine, and rose. And then you get uh, cashmere wood, vanilla, and white musk in the uh, base. So it has this like musky rose type of smell on your skin. Um, I also get a little bit of that plum as it starts to like continuously go. And then it dries down to this like ridiculous vanilla. Um, I absolutely love this fragrance now. I've actually see, look, you see how much I sprayed? That's that's a lot. How long have you had it? It was up it was up top. I've only had it for a couple of weeks. Okay, okay. <laughs> now I've been spraying the heck out of it. So do you have your list in order? Because I see you looking at your list of notes. Are they in order? Yeah. Is that what, okay? So that's why you go because I right. I'm like, so it must be in order because he knows where he's looking at. Okay, okay. Uh huh. See, I'm a little smart. And then when you don't look. I be scrolling like this. I go like this. I lean into it. You think I'm leaning into a conversation? But I'm really leaning in to scroll down. Get my voice a little deep so I can scroll down a little bit more. Okay, because I'm like, he's looking at something. Okay, it's like this is a right. I thought it was a teleprompter or something. I was like, what is he looking? Okay, so that's. I'm over. sitting there touching buttons. I'm like, doo -doo 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 -doo. and I ain't got shit. Okay. So don't. That's okay. Alien essence absolute. Everybody knows it. Everybody talks about it. I actually have. A, now let me tell you. 
when I got this because I have been hearing, you know, you I was kind of new to listening, watching videos and stuff, and I kept hearing, hey, that's right. that's who, oh my god, you need it, you need it, you need it. And then I was like, Well, you know, I ain't that huge a fan of alien, but then which I've since got rid of. Sacrilege. And um, hey Taffy, and so but I heard that this was more amber and it had a little more, it was vanilla. So I was like, okay, well, I'll try it. And I happened to see this, this was on fragrance by 30 mils. Okay. I was like, okay, let me go and get it. So when I got it and I sprayed it, and when it got yeah. here, I said, Oh shit, I need this in my life. And then I went on eBay and I found a 60 mil refill. So that's oh, what I got. That's the and reason. it was like, and clearly somebody didn't know what they had because it was a decent price. You know, it wasn't like yeah. overpriced. And I think it was before everybody just started. The prices just kind of like skyrocketed on this, right? That's because everybody at home. That's why. Yeah, but also I think because people are sitting around, and you know, it, the hype train starts. And so once the hype right. train starts, people be like, "Let me jump on that hype train." And mm -hmm. so yeah, so but it is everything that everybody says. I think it is the sexiest. Alien for me. I know you love okay. Alien, but for me, I do. Alien. But you know what? Honestly, Alien changed. Like they they revamped it because when I first smelled it, it had the jasmine and it almost had like this mint type of smell that was in it. So if you walked past me, it was like, oh, oh lord! It made my heart beat. It was like every time a woman would walk past me. It See, it's something crazy. on me. It just the jasmine does doesn't work on me, and I love jasmine, but it's right. just something. It's like, eh. and plus, it's a dirty jasmine. So the the fact that it was dirty and clean all at the same time, it was it did it for me back in the day. So now I don't right. have that one, but I I heard that one's good too. So thank you, Coco, because I didn't get that one. All right, so I was kind of I wasn't downing this one. I was pretty upset at first because I noticed that um, certain fragrances kind of smell similar to other fragrances, but I'm really starting to love this black tie. You've been talking about black tie. You've been, you, you like, you going to be Jeremy's friend. So he's going to be shouting your ass out. <laughs> but you know what though? It took, it honestly took a while for it to become uh, a 10 for me because when I smelled it at first, I was like, okay, you know, it smelled like one of my favorite fragrances of all time, which is Goomin, <laughs> which I don't have in this list. So this is part one. <laughs> but Goomin oh, is one of my favorite fragrances. You know that it's a it's a citrus oud fragrance. So this has that citrus up top. So you're getting the it's Brazilian Mandarin, orange oil, Italian lemon. See, I'm going to lean into you. So while I'm reading it. Right, so you can read. Oh, uh, right. Guyac wood, vetiver, patchouli, and cardamom. But it smells like a mix of that and then leather. Um, so that leather that you get from Gucci Guilty Absolute, I actually sprayed them together and got this fragrance. It's like a two to one. You okay. have to spray. But you're talking uh I don't know. I think Gooman is a little bit deeper now it might be in the 300s but it was four before and then gucci guilty absolute you can get um right. you know a little bit cheaper but right. you know this one this one is actually really nice you only need one spray too so you're talking super beast mode i spray it one time one you time you like i spray one time and it's on me for 24 hours okay whatever um now let me just say this hey this cassandra but did you see what did you see what Drea said? Drea said, and let me write that because I could have just said so. I want this is a, this begs for us to speak on this. The trick okay. for Alien is to spray it on my thighs and let it waft up. Is it between your thighs? Is it on the top of your thighs? Behind your thighs? I just need to know. I just need to know. Yeah. Because I'm just saying that just had I had to post that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I, just, I just had to I just had to post that one. You had to post that one? Because, you know, you said you put some stuff on your thighs. You just asking for me to say something, but I'm not. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let, go. let it go. All right. So here's a new one. On this back. is Shanghai Tang, Tang Black Iris. Okay. So this is... um. This is very. This was very expensive, but I think it's just it's discontinued. 
This is oh. a beautiful iris. This is girly iris. Oh lipstick. My yeah. No, no, no. It's not that lipstick. It's floral. It's more oh, okay. green. It's a green iris. I kind of, I can deal with, I like lipsticky ones, but I prefer green ones. This is, mm, this is a beautiful green floral iris. Okay. Oh my God. And this and baby, it lasts. It's one of those. Now, of course, I overspray. I overspray. You spray like crazy. But, hey, Chantel. but the thing is, I know you can't really, you can't go crazy with this. Cause right. if you do, it will. Cause I had it on me. I was like, what the hell? She was like, she was like, your perfume. I was like, ain't it good? She was like, yeah, but and so yeah, so mm -hmm. okay. Ooh, yeah. I've been into Iris. You're part of the reason. There's a two things. You know, you got me into more into Iris. Um, okay. And I found that I like Iris because all the okay. time, I really, because, you know, a lot of times, especially years ago, Iris, it was mm -hmm. all, it was very powdery. It was very lipsticky. And mm -hmm. so I, that wasn't my vibe. Um, I'm finding more Irises with different, you know, levels and changes. So I yeah. do like some that are powdery, but they have to, ha they can't smell. Old school powdery. They kind of they gotta smell like you know rich girl powder puff. That's what I call it, rich girl powder puff. As opposed, okay. to, as opposed to you know your grandmama's you know puff that she had sitting on that you know that puff that your grandmother had on her dresser that she didn't have for the last thirty years. You oh know, yeah, you know, that one is plastic. It's kind of it's got a plastic top. You yeah. can't smell like that. You can't smell like okay. That. Yeah. No, definitely not. I was gonna say my grandma. Whew. Then like you know that when they post and then whenever they come out they post it yeah themselves up you'd be like oh okay you, you know my dad used to call it hooker powder he used to say that about my mama she, she was like oh your mama coming out with that hooker powder huh she, <laughs> right? you know wait a minute, you know it's back in the day they come out and then you see the powder coming through their clothes <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> They'd be like, and it'd be like, they'd be having old black, but it'd be looking gray up here because the powder is coming through. Oh, yeah. Lord, I did it. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I, I did it. I ain't gonna lie. Of course. Of course. You had to. All right. My next one is Mason to Darius Valor. Okay. I've been, I've been getting actually a lot of wares out of this one. Um, This one was 165 for 50 mil. Um, it's amber, caramel, and oud. Um, such a beautiful fragrance, and of course, you know, it's beast mode. I actually have found myself loving and going after a lot more ambers lately. Like, I just bought that amber. Um, but this one is very, very good. Um, don't have to spray a lot, right? Very oily on the skin, too. So that's your note lately? Because my note has been iris and gardenia. Yeah. Mine has been uh, amber and leather. I'm kind I, of I like yuzu also and coconut. Yuzu and coconut. I mean, I'm also trying to stop myself because I want some plum and some, I want honey now. I'm off of this honey vibe. You know, plum. Plum, plum is just, ooh, ooh, plum is good. Okay. All right. So my next one. <laughs> Serge Luton's Flores de Orangeria. Okay. This is my perfect orange blossom. This is my favorite orange blossom. Mm, it's so sweet. It's like orange. It's like, uh, like florally, but sweet floral. Um, it's no, it's like an orange blossom flower. So if you've okay. ever smelled orange blossom, so it's sweet. But it's orange blossom. So it's truly like, you know, it's got that orange blossom note, very strong. And then it's got some sweetness. I thought it had honey in it, but there's no honey in the notes. But okay. it's very it's sweet. And it's just beautiful. And baby, this thing, yeah, this thing, she lasts. Um, you know, Sir Zuton is one of those, A, it's a niche brand that is easy. It's a very good um, beginner niche because of the pricing. Oh. You know, it's a good gateway because you can always find some stuff at a good price. But the yeah. issue with Serge Luton is though, is that it's Serge Luton and they can be quite challenging. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I you still know? don't like Shergi. I still don't like it. I mean, it's okay. I'm I, I'm like, okay, I can wear it, but it ain't like everybody be like, Shergi, oh my God. Yeah. Um, 
I don't even no, reach for it. I see that Aaron has a new honey sense. Shut your mouth. See? <laughs> that? So, yeah, but this is a beautiful orange blossom. I'm going to tell you what it, it kind of smells like. Because if you ever go on Trader Joe's, okay. Trader Joe's has an orange blossom soap. This is oh. very similar to this. It's like, okay. like if you wore that, if I, you know, layer it with it. But this is a little sweeter. So you get that true orange blossom vibe from this with a sweetness right. to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> See, I don't get the cumin in it. I don't get the cumin. I know, um, you know, it does. Supposedly it had cumin, but I never. For one thing, I don't really get cumin. I know people be like, "Oh my god, cumin! Cumin doesn't smell bad on me." So I, I like it. It's just a okay. little. Okay. Okay. So what's yours? So I have to go back old school. And my bond number nine centerpiece. Oh, centerpiece. Uh, I don't know what it is about this this fragrance that makes it so sexy, but this is my fourth bottle. <laughs> Can you believe that? I bought four bottles worth Man. of of this because the first time I ever smelled it, um, and it was years and years ago, I was like, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I would wear it every day. Like I even had, I think I had like maybe 30 something fragrances at one point and I only wore this and I was like, uh oh, I'm about to go out. So I would buy another bottle and just wear this. But centerpiece is pineapple, juniper berries, bergamot, uh, currant buds, cedar and vetiver. And people say that it smells like a Ventus. And I'm like, what are you smoking? This don't. This does not smell anything like a Ventus. You know the um, thing is, is like whenever something has a prominent note, yeah. Then, and then everybody says if they smell something with that prominent note, it smells like that. No, this smells nothing like a Ventus. It smells like centerpiece. Like if I if somebody walked past me, I could immediately tell you. I'm like, oh, you weren't centerpiece. I know. So. I see a whole thigh conversation going on. I know, I did too. I was like, oh. I'm going to leave y'all alone with the thigh conversation. <laughs> I'm going to leave y'all alone. Okay. Uh, ch -ch -ch okay, so we'll go with this one. Victor and Rock Dancing Roses. I don't know if y'all can see it, but anyway. So Dancing Roses. Okay. Dancing Roses is a boozy, cherried up rose. Okay. I love it. I love it. It's a boozy, cherried up rose. Love wow. it. I know everybody wanted it last year because now it's discontinued. You can't get it anymore. And it oh, was like, of course. Um, well, because what happened was Victor and Rob just all of a sudden it went half price. Everybody snatched it. And okay. you know, everybody knew that they, because I would have bought a backup. Honestly, I love right. it. And once again, compliments. You know, I've been walking out the building this morning. Oh my God, it smells so good. So mm -hmm. it does be compliments, but like I said, okay. it's a boozy cherry rose. That's all it is. Love it. Love it. Now, don't ever. Some people say it smells like cherry cough medicine. To me, it does not. And I'm okay with that. Yeah. Love what you love. Smell yep. what you smell. Yup. All right. Excitement. Drum roll. No drum roll. Fake drum roll. So. This fragrance is a fragrance I just got today, and what I sprayed it. In the tin and you just bought it today. Man, come on. Listen to me. Listen Man. to me. If you can spray something for the first time, and it's like the best thing. Dude, I've taken three showers today already just so I can respray this on. It is so good. So... First off, shout out to my boy. He smells like Rome. Athanescence, uh, Cure Kumara, Curcuma. So this is the best leather fragrance I have ever worn. I have ever smelled. I have ever worn. This is absolutely the best. And it's on, um, it's on, uh, what is it? Uh, fragrance X, I think, and also fragrance. What is the other one? Fragrance, not fragrance. That it is on fragrance X. 
So this one's on Fergus X. What's the name of it? Hey, Alicia. It's Kirku Kirkuma. So let me tell you the notes really quick. It's leather. It's the first fragrance, I think, also that has turmeric in it. So it's leather, turmeric, myrrh, sandalwood, orris, benzoin, and patchouli. It's this beautiful. So imagine being in either a Maserati or some type of high Helen or some type of beautiful sports car. It's that kind of beautiful leather. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then you get this sweetness from the myrrh and also um, probably from that orris as well. It's, it's I'm just so saying you just good. got it today. Okay. Look, I'm trying to tell you how great this is. It's, it's like the freshest leather that you'll ever smell. And I know Rome kept talking about it. And I was like, ah, I don't know. And then I ended up buying it and I was like, oh my gosh, like now I'm going down a rabbit hole of athanescence. He's always on um, IG about this. It better be because I'm looking at the price and, and on fragrance eggs. Oh. So. So. <laughs> I got, I bought this from somebody else in the fragrance group. Uh, shout out to my boy, Cordell. Um, that's my dude. Uh, bought this from him and got it a little bit cheaper than that. But, I hope so. But, oh my gosh, it smells. Lulu, I cannot tell you. Like, this is Amen. out of everything I have. Look, out of, out of everything I have in my collection. This is like top, this is top two, top three. Top two, top three fragrances, period. Okay, in my collection. This. You better hold that one. Because if you come back and tell me something, you come up with three that and it ain't in there, I'm going to remember. I'm going to remember. You remember. You remember. Because this is, this is probably one of the sexiest, most seductive fragrances I have, period. By like just spraying it again. Oh, my gosh. Let's have a moment of silence. Let's have a moment of silence for this. I'm trying to tell you, this is dope. Like, if if you can get a chance to smell this, oh, and it's worth okay, every penny. Let, let me tell you, I'm not going to believe that until you come back and tell us you wore it to the gym and all the broads fo followed you around. You know what I'm saying? follow me anyways. Because <laughs> I'm wearing them little booty shorts. Right? You're wearing them booty shorts. <laughs> Right, they're gonna follow me anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, okay, with you. Uh, okay, right. but I, it's my fault because I didn't talk to you some booty shorts. It's my fault. It's my yep, fault. it is your fault. I'm gonna keep talking about it too. I'm telling hey, you, okay. telling you, hey. I'm just saying, until you wear that to the gym, I ain't gonna believe it's sexy because I need I need the gym girls. I need the gym rats. Gym I need the gym rats to be like, hey. I, as a matter of fact, can you like can you like low key have your phone up and just like film video them? Them? Yeah, just video, you know. Like, you know what? If if one of them if one of them stops me and gives me a compliment, then I'll I'll try to videotape her. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll try to I'll try to videotape it. But if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. So. Okay, okay. I mean okay. Okay, because now look, uh, now you know mm -hmm. I will give you this one. If you see some broads looking at you and licking their lips, that's I I would you know just count them out. I have like a tally, like you know, I had it on and five lip, you know, lip licks. That's that's gonna be because of the, the baby shirt that I'll be wearing. And oh, the, the baby little, shirt. The little shirt. The right? yep. your, crop top, your crop top and baby shorts. Yeah, my crop top, and then my I'm wearing <laughs> and then and then I'll be wearing um some Jordans. Oh, you giving it to him. You giving it to him. You be looking, you be coming in there looking like you are in living color. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> All right. So this one, you know, I'm gonna do this one instead. Montal's food amazing. Mm. Okay. 
I like this one, A, because it's not the usual Montau Oud. Um, <laughs> right. See, this is what we need. We need you with we need you with like an undercover camera. Okay. Yeah. We need an undercover camera. You need to have like a little spy cam on you. You know, have a hat on with a little spy cam on. Yeah, right. right. Hey, I, I plan on it. Hey Kelly. So this is Oud Amazing by Montau. Okay. This I love. I know people say it's vanilla, but for me, it's the jasmine in it. I like okay. it because it's a oud without rose. Well, no, the the rose isn't prominent. Um, and I don't know, somebody's like a fresh oud to me because it's not as skanky as all as you know, Montau ouds can be. So it's not mm. skanky, but it's very fresh. It's, it just has this fresh, musky kind of oud vibe to me with the jasmine. Okay. The vanilla isn't as strong on me because everybody talks about the vanilla. It's okay on me. It's more about the jasmine and the oud. And it okay. is beautiful. And man, I just be in here like feeling like I be feeling like I'm a princess. I be feeling like I'm a Arabian princess wearing this. Okay. All right, Arabian princess. Okay. Arabian princess. Okay. Okay. Speaking of speaking of notes, because you know, I I I can't I ain't scrolling. I ain't scrolling. <laughs> You're not gonna scroll, that's okay. I ain't scrolling. So my next one is Incident Diplomatique from Jovoy. Okay, Justin Copeland, because he talk about that thing all the time. You know why, though? It's because it is one of the driest, sexiest patchoulis. It's, it's uh, sweet. It's fresh. But there's also that patchouli vibe that's in it. And that's what makes it so beautiful. Um, I actually wore this at night um, asleep with my wife. And she was like, damn, you smell good. Every time I wear this, she compliments me. And I'm like, she don't even know what it is. But it's um, it has mandarin orange, Haitian vetiver, java vetiver, and nutmeg. And then you get patchouli and sandalwood. So I'm guessing the sandalwood is what makes it also very creamy. But... When I like when I, I I got a tester from uh, Crystal Fragrances for this one, I was like, I need a bottle, like quick, just like remember me. But I forgot, and I got a private label, also. But like we were talking about before, I got to get remember me at some point. But this one is the best one out of all three of them to me. So okay, he gonna try it tonight. You got him trying it tonight. Look at Dan's about to try it. Tonight. Angelo, I'm telling you. Because of you. Yep, because of me. That's right. Okay. So, even though this, I, you know, I'm not going to go with my usual one right now, but I'm going to go with this Maison Lancome, which is the Vondas Tree and I. Okay. Reason being is it's not a lot. It's a, it's Does it have a, notes on the back? Was there notes on it? What was that? Mm -mm. No. Oh, it's okay. Just, so it's yeah. a design. Oh, okay. And then the next. So, okay. Um, this is just lavender. It's milky. It's got a milk. And oh my God, this is so good. It's sweet. It's milky. It's like tonic. Now, here's the thing about this I don't like lavender that much. Okay. So, to be in love with this thing from the very first time I sprayed it on myself, matter of fact, let me just spray a little on it now. Yes, yes. Let's spray a little bit on you. Uh, <laughs> yes. It is beautiful. And like, you know, people like leave, you know, that you know how people like all these lavender based ones for women like Mongerlan and shit. I don't like Mongerlan, but I love okay. lavender this. And it's got yeah, and sugar in it. It's got milk, it's got sugar, oh. it's got lavender. Mm. Sugar. It is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it is just sexy. And it's like bedtime sexy. It's date night sexy. It's just sexy. Oh, really? yes. And That's it's Coco very, scent. That's but Coco it's like, um, it's, it's sexy, but it's kind of comforting too. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like you could chill and cuddle. It's cuddle sexy too. Okay. <laughs> Helen, Helen, you know what? See, Helen, let me tell you how, what kind of friend I am. I've been checking for you. I've been, every time I see someone, I've been checking Lancome for you. Like, if I see that, I'm going to have to text Helen, girl, get your Levinas tree or not. Because <laughs> uh, Fragrance Buy just uploaded get. some uh, Maison Lancomes. But I think Maison Lancome, just the line in general, um, 
is kind of leans, a lot of them lean more feminine. They have quite a few that are more feminine. Um, right, but. Okay, okay. So I'm coming with a few more. Mm -hmm. Coming with a few more? Okay. Oh, I got a I'm, I'm gonna come with Fan Your Flames. Okay, you coming up with your Nishane, Nishane. This is the best boozy coconut fragrance I've ever smelled. I absolutely love this fragrance. Um, ah, dog. So it's coconut and rum up top, tobacco, tonka bean, tiny cedar, and oak moss. And it's, it's so beautiful. I love the way that this fragrance like kind of develops on skin. It's, it like goes to that booziness, then that coconut. See, D'Angelo agrees. The booziness, the coconut, and then you start to get into like that chunk of beans. You get that sweetness, and then all of a sudden it kind of gets woody. So then that's that oak moss and that cedar. Is, this is hands down. Like, I will get another bottle of this when this goes. Because you know how I feel about 50%. So... Hold up, yeah. I just gotta see this. When did you get this? Coco, oh, you holding out on us, sis. I ain't heard <laughs> none about you getting no fan your flames. When did you get that, miss? Oh, okay. <laughs> so you've been holding out. You've been holding out. You have been holding out. Okay. All right. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> yes. I'm just getting we all like half shopping. We all half shopping. <laughs> right, right. Like right. low-key shopping. Don't know if I know what you're doing. Okay. Right. Right. So this is this was the parfum tuberose number three. I have all three of them. This is my favorite. This is okay. the deep, dark, sexy one. This has and I actually has them on the side. It has plum in it, it has neroli, it has um tuberose on every level, and okay. the, and all of them have that. And then this has uh white tobacco. Oh this thing is real deep, it's real dark and mysterious and just sexy this is bad girl bad boy because a guy could wear this too but it's just okay. it's like when you you want some bad shit you know when you about to like do something if i smell somebody wearing this i would back mm -hmm. the fuck up because i'd be like oh you nope. about to get hit in some trouble right now this is this <laughs> is trouble for. you know you this okay. is trouble for, and it might be some good trouble that i might want again so i'm gonna have to back up off of you so yeah God. and if i'm wearing this don't don't mm -mm. no yeah. <laughs> I'm mad, right that is funny mm -hmm. um so my next one is have our fair soul cafe <gasps> soul cafe okay so the funny part about it remember how i said it has to have massive projection longevity and all this other stuff. I do get eight hours, but I get a soft eight hours. So this one is very beautiful and curls. wispy. <laughs> you clench them. You clench them. Clench them. <laughs> this one is so well done. Like the way that it's mixed. I think it's that that private musk blend. And like the so it's it's tobacco, bergamot, blood orange, black pepper, patchouli, uh, private musk blend, amberwood, oud, lavender, um, Arabic coffee, and firewood. It's smoky and sweet is what I get, but it's smooth. So smoky, sweet, and smooth. It went up to it's one hundred twenty five dollars. I think when I bought it, it was at like one fifteen. Mm -hmm. Or something like that, but this is a very beautiful fragrance for a 50 mil. <laughs> Helen said probably 300. <laughs> no, Jerry, 300 Jerry, Jerry, okay, well, I mean, if you think about it, a full bottle is probably around 300. Okay, yeah, but I think he only does 50 mils anyways, right? Right, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go classic. Delina exclusive. Now Delina exclusive, not Delina, but a Delina exclusive. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, he oh, said it right. was right. D'Angelo. You're right. It was 95 when I bought it too. My bad. Okay. Now it's 125. Okay. It up. I mean, hey, yeah. think more. Shit happens. Yeah. You gotta go up. <laughs> yep. 
Okay, so this is Delina's bad sister. This has, you know, the oud in it. It has the incense. Got rid of the uh, rhubarb so it's not as sour. Still got mm -hmm. the lychee. This is just a bad. This is this is Delina's bad sister. You know, Delina's all nice and pretty and cute and everything. This is bad girl sister. This is you know she she got some she got some shit to do. So this is beautiful though. You any Delina's will get you compliments. You know, yeah. either one of them will get you compliments. You wear it, people are gonna be like, oh my god, what are you wearing? Because yeah. as I said before. When we think about things, because we buy perfumes and we buy fragrances and we all know this stuff, we think that everybody knows mm -hmm. about them. So these are the right. these are um, distinctive when you're in, in regular company because they ain't never smell stuff like this. So anytime right. you wear something like this, most of the time, most of the people aren't gonna know what you're wearing. So as that's always, true. compliment gets her. Compliment gets her. Hey, Faith. Oh. Hey, this is all right. Mm. I got your favorite fragrance. I know which one. Oh, Triumph of Bacchus. <laughs> I knew I was waiting for That's Triumph right. of Bacchus. That's right. You know why though? The fact that it's a smoky peach, it's it's the fragrance that I've always been kind of looking for. So um a fragrance that I've been trying to get other uh perfumers when they do the bespoke fragrances is a peach based fragrance. Um, I always remember being like in the basement playing and then my grandfather would make a peach cobbler. So that's kind of the smell that I was looking for. So, you um, so I always, okay. yeah. So I always look for something peach like a peach cobbler. I've actually, like, again, I've tried to get other people to make that fragrance for me for what I think it should smell like. But this one is so smooth and gorgeous. It's it's crazy, though, because um, I, I don't know why it doesn't have um, all of these other uh, notes that I thought it should have, but is is dope. This is peach, tobacco. Um, there's probably some oud in here. This is dope. Okay. How many are we at? Where? How many more are we supposed to be doing? Because I, I, I ain't we have. Uh, so this will be, this will be thirteen. So we have three more left. Okay. Three more. Three more. Let me grab one. Okay. Well, I'm in here. I, I'm. I, I mean, I was it about. Is Graham. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go man Sarah. Two of them I'm okay. just gonna throw here for a second, and then I'm gonna go into okay. something different. Because okay. of course, wild python, muskegon, muskegon. Okay. I don't even have to say nothing about that. Everybody been here long enough to know muskegon and wild python. Okay, so love them, love them, love them. They are ten out of ten. Because let me tell you. Uh, it's only a few women that don't like wild python. I tell everybody okay. get wild python. They love it. They want to wear it. They want to bathe in it. They smell good. It's beautiful. It's a classic floral. They all need it. So those are there. Okay. And then let's go with this one. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to say for this one right now, wild cherry. Wild I'm cherry is like a beautiful bright cherry. I love it for that because like some, you know, cherry, there's so many cherries out there and then they have this and they have that. This yeah. is the cherry that just, if you will need it to layer something, if you just want to smell mm -hmm. like cherries. So it's like a bright cherry to me. It's not super sour. It's got a sweet sweetness to it. So this is like my favorite, just all around cherry. If I just want to wear some cherry, I'm wearing yeah. watch. You know, what's so funny about that fragrance is that there was a reviewer that I saw a long time ago. So this is really swole dude, and he's like in love with all of those fragrances. Yeah, he's talking, well, he's about, talking about centrifugal practice. force. He's talking about Eric. Yeah, yeah. Force. Dude, he was he was like wild wow, cherry. This is what you like. His voice. <laughs> oh my god, he be sounding like some kind of like '90s bad movie, like you know, like yeah. a robot bad movie. I mean, he, yeah. his, his, have you ever seen pictures of his his uh, collection, though? Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Insane. 
is yeah. crazy. Yeah, he, and is I like, like, he is the man, Sarah King. He's a, no, he's everything king because when yeah. BDK was starting to get hot, BDK he had the whole BDK line before anybody started talking about it because that's when I yeah. saw it because he talked about some back rows and all of them. Eric, okay. Eric, that's some shit. That man be like, yes. Yeah, he was my. I have to find him on this channel because I have him on my other channel, and I was like, why am I not seeing his stuff? The second that you said that, I was like, I remember, old boy, he was the reason why I bought Wild Cherry. He was the only reason. But so, you know what? He um he doesn't post consistently. He's like one of those people that will post maybe once a week, maybe at once every two weeks, every three weeks. You know, yeah. so he just you don't see him a lot. But when he comes through, he's it's just it's hard for me to watch him because of his voice. I mean, yeah, like, I know. I'm like, you know, why you gotta sound like that, dude? Why? Why we gotta sound like that? It sounds like, but isn't he from like, Bo is he from Boston or Jersey? I or don't know. It's someplace around there. But he yeah. sounds like, it's terrible. Uh, I was like, <laughs> and then it's not just his, but then the other thing is his whole look. His whole look is off. He, he's slow. I've he's never slow. seen him. Okay, but then he wear them little, he be wearing them little muscle tees like he on Muscle Beach down in Cali and shit, you know, trying to be out there trying to like pump iron and shit. Put on a damn shirt. Put on a shirt. Okay. We don't need, those shirts are so 90s. 80s and 90s. Don't hate on, don't hate on that man for having like 2% body fat. I don't care about the super safe body <laughs> fat. Wear a shirt. Put on a t-shirt that fits. You know, <laughs> Why? Why they gotta have them little bitty straps? You know the tank tops that look like. Yeah, I'm to <laughs> he does wear those all the time. Courtney is yeah. uh, centrifugal force. <laughs> that's who it is. Hey, man. But I mean, because he's the one who did. Because that's how I really got into Man Sarah was because of him too. Because he yeah. at fifty two, he did all of them in like ten minutes or fifteen minutes. It was like fifty two yep. of them. Yeah. Yeah. He, oh, he teaches martial arts. Okay. Yeah, I know he's okay. in Florida. And yeah, I thought he did. I don't care. He just looks a pot mess to me. And that voice. <laughs> so it's hard for me to watch him sometimes. I, mean, like, I know. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> uh, that was funny. All right. Let me let me go on to my next one. Um, so my next one is. This is, I think this will always be in my list. This is, this is probably top three also, but Mojave Ghost from Byredo. This is just, it's just gorgeous in a bottle. Um, it's just sweet, floral, um, musky, beautiful, beautiful, very smooth. Um, I know a lot of people complain about, some people actually were complaining about longevity but i get a great deal of longevity as long as i don't over spray so keeping it to like three to four sprays and that's it it lasts so mm -hmm. okay yeah. hey marilyn how are you hey chantel i just think i said how do you since you've been in but yeah okay hi Teresa. hi hey okay okay so <laughs> i i think i've tried what did i try by by Rado. I tried something. I was like, no, oh, it's okay. Um, I can't remember what it was, though, because it was a Mojave Ghost. I've been wanting to try that one. It was yeah. Black Sapphire. I don't can't remember which one it was. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What's I going to do now? See, D'Angelo only gets four hours. I get, I get like eight to ten. It's crazy. I don't understand why. With what? Oh, uh, for Mojave Ghost. Yeah, because you don't want to. Hey, Amina. Hey, Amina. Hey, you know what? You're the only person who says that because everybody else says that um, Byredo doesn't last. Oh, I have Rose of No Man's Land, too. That one's really good, especially if you mix it with uh, Poporia from uh, Tiziana Terenzi. Dope. Dope okay. mixture. So I got a question. Who's this dinner with? Is this a dinner date? Is that why you're getting ready? And then if it is, I need uh, details. Okay. I so know. It's the sugar here. daddy. It's is the, the sugar daddy. Sugar daddy day? Me yep. Are we on the sugar daddy day? Are this was we supposed on to be from far away. daddy day? We, we will wait for your response as I go into go prestigium. 
Oh, and how are the lights? Uh -huh. Wait a minute, Mina. I haven't even got a picture. Hold up, ho. You ain't sent me a picture. Um, <laughs> hey, Lisa, I'm sorry. I'm right. sorry. Hey, Lisa. Uh, and that was the you know H E A U X. Oh, just so right. You know. But I know, you, Amina. I, I didn't get a picture of these lights. Oh, girl, we are gonna have problems here. So this is Gopalstigium, <laughs> which is my citrus leather. Okay. This is my citrus leather. Mm. And um. Right, they, right, right. Lipsticks, we need to know all of these things. We mm -hmm. need to know all of this right here. Tell it, Coco. So, yeah, this yeah. is my citrus leather. Um, this is like my summertime leather. It's beautiful. Okay. It's got rose in it, of course. So it's floral, got a little floral, but it's primarily yeah. citrus. The citrus is really strong in the beginning. Similar to like Sicily by Mancera, it has that kind of okay. cit citrus. But then it's yeah. got the leather, and the leather is beautiful and hot. And yeah, this is perfect. And it's it's not too much for somebody like me. You know, like some things could be a little too much, mm -hmm. a little too masculine. This is like perfection. Okay. 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 All right, your next one. My next one is Perfumes of Marley's Greenly. I have fallen head over heels for this smell is like so beautiful. It has Calibrian bergamot, mandarin orange, then it has cashmerian, pettigrain, pomerose, violet cedar, oak moss, musk, and amber wood. It is crazy because it's like, it smells sparkly and citrus is what you get from it. Mm -hmm. It's sweet, it's beautiful, not overly sweet. Although it's only in like the six hour territory, I would respray this over and over again. Like I'm afraid to keep spraying it. You see how much I sprayed? I was going crazy and I had to chill. So I just open it from the bottle and smell it sometimes. But very, very quintessential summer scent. So yeah. Okay, yeah, frapping uh, for pond, I mean, or however you say it, I do not get much on that one at all. I think um, I get about a good four hours on that one, which is crazy. Um, yeah, Tara, Mojave Ghost is dope. Um, you can always try before you buy too. Uh, that's a good question, Coco. I don't know the difference between Amber and Amber Wood. That because amber is a fantasy note, that that just yeah. means they, they created an amber and then added a little wood to it. Yeah, that's, that's what I was. Yeah, right. Yeah, but I mean, because there's, I mean, because there is no such thing as amber. So no. So all right. Well, last, your last fragrance. Last fragrance. Last one. Uh, okay, we'll just go. With Roses of Berberanza by Maison Lancome. This okay. is nutty. It's rose. It's oh, pistachio. Damn, oh. this smells good. This pistachio? is, yes, it is good. Okay. It's, it's got a nuttiness to it. It's got a booziness to it. Mm -hmm. mm, this damn thing is so good. This It's got a boozy accord. It's got booze in it, licory. It's got the, the pistachio. The pistachio is in the beginning, and then it dries down, and it is a beautiful rose. Um, okay. You know, so that is Roses of Berberons. We ain't got to go, because I've been loving this thing. Roses of Berberons yeah. is one of those things, like, I had got a sample of I got a decant of it, a travel spray, and, yeah. and then it was on Fragrance Net. Super okay. cheap, bought two okay. bottles. Bought two bottles. Smart. That's smart. That's My last one. A seal special edition. Is that one of your Arabian Oods? Yes. From Arabian Oods. Because you were crazy when they when they was on sale. You went crazy. Because weren't they I like a little bit. off? What's that? Weren't they 40% off? Yeah, and I'll be honest with you, I should have bought a, a backup bottle of this one. Um, this one is is so good and so long lasting. Um, especially this one, Arabian Night, the one that's in the brown bottle, because it has similarities to me, 
of um, Hachivat, but it's not as, um, what is that? Hachivat is kind of, I, I call it fuzzy, but it's, uh, I forgot what the note is, like oak mossy. It's too oak mossy where um, the other one is not. But for this fragrance, this is like a great deal of, um, it has orange blossom, mulberry, vanilla, rose, caramel, salty, um, and then musk, patchouli, and amber. This one is sweet. It has like this, you can smell the rose in the background. It's very beautiful, but it's also well balanced. So. They do. They do look like Armoff, and Armoff is so cheap. That is so true. They got that kind of Armoff cheap look to them. I know they're more expensive. They may, but, but, but that juice, the juice inside is crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, Tara, Hachivat for me is not, um, it's not all that. I'll be honest with you. I, I don't, um, I, I would probably, but here's the thing. I would rate it still like somewhere around the seven to eight mark because later on in the dry down, it smells better. I'm not a big fan other than that. So, so we're but, done. Yeah. We is are it? done, ma'am. You so ain't I'm got go no take my honorable mentions or whatever. Nope. I was trying to be good. Okay. I was trying to be real good. I was going to let you do your thing. And because uh, I'm honestly super tired and my arm is still sore, even though I took Tylenol, like my arm yeah. is jacked okay. up today. So, okay. Well, I'll catch y'all later. All right. Well, okay. So, I know that they wanted to ask me some questions. So, I'm going to stay on. So, you go okay. ahead and you get some rest. Take care of yourself. All right. You know, y'all take care. Appreciate it. Later. All right. See you, Jerry. Okay. So here we go. Few things been going on. Let me get, let me, cause I, you know, I didn't want to like start, start off with all that. So let's get to this. The kittens have got to leave my house. The kittens have got to leave my house, y'all. They are destructive. The other ones were fine. You know, the last, the First crew was good. You know, they was a little wild. They was a little kidney. You know, getting into stuff. These kittens are insane. They got to go. I cannot wait till they ready to go. They have got to be gone soon. So let me tell you what they're doing. They destroy, they've been trying to destroy my plants. Hey, Karen, they've been trying to destroy my plants, y'all. So I had to move all the plants because I can, I'm posting pictures. Of the stuff they've done. They have claimed. Now, let me tell you what happened last night. Let me tell you what happened last night. So I've been kind of keeping them out of my room, right? These little things got into my room last night. I accidentally left my bedroom door open, right? No, but see, the difference was here's what the difference was, Karen. The plant, the what they did with the plant. Plants last time was pretty much sitting in them. You know, they kind of just sat in the plants. They kind of just, you know, had a good, you know, Kali and them would just sit in the plants and sleep, right? No. These little ha assholes are destroying them. I'm going to show you um, with them. So last night they got into my room, right? But every time I try to snatch them and get them out of my room, they run under my bed. So they're running under my bed. Then I look up, one is in my bed, right? Yeah, they, yeah, this is the wild alley cat bunch, right? This is the wild cat. Sometimes with StreamYard, it stutters. I've noticed that. So that's why you're getting like something wrong. It's like with the broadcast, you get a stutter. The audio is crackling. Uh, this, it's always about the, um, it's always about the audio. It's something about the audio on here does something with streaming. I don't know what that is. Um, so how about this? Y'all want me to just end this and then I'll go on to my phone and then we can talk for a minute. Cause I can do that. We can just come on back. Right, let me, let's just do it the regular way. Let's just do it the regular way. Come on in five minutes. I'll be on and we'll chit chat and it won't be all fucked up. See y'all a little bit. 
Oh, it happened with yeah, because because it was streaming both of us, so it's um cool, but now it's not. Okay, so let's switch. Let me end this broadcast. How about letting me end the broadcast? <laughs>